Alright Chuck, this is such an awesome museum, especially if you love fire trucks like I love fire trucks and most kids love fire trucks, but you're also kind of like a kid here because you just retired Absolutely. and this is like a new job for you. It is a, definitely a new job and a very different kind of a job. I uh, was uh, privileged to fight fires here in the valley and serve as a paramedic for 37 years. Uh, retired from the Glendale Fire Department back in March and uh, this opportunity was brought to me and uh, believe me, I haven't looked back, it's great. <laughs> I love it. All right, how did this museum get started? Well, you know, it's a great story. Um, Mr. George Getz uh, from Chicago at the time um, got the truck right behind you as a uh, Christmas gift in 1955. His wife Olive uh, decided to surprise him and boy did she ever. <laughs> And uh, from that point on, he started collecting trucks. And, uh, and one led to the next, which led to the next. And by 1961, he already had enough trucks for his first museum. Wow, I tell you, and what's really great about this museum is that there are trucks from all over the world that you guys have collected. So it's a big history lesson here. It's a huge history lesson, not only in uh, world history, but also in American history. Our very first truck, our, our earliest piece here, a pumper wagon is from 1725. So that's 51 years before we were a country and seven years before George Washington was born. Yeah, and so. it's not just about the trucks here, it's also the history of the trucks and also memorial the trucks too, because there is an area that you honor those we've lost. Yes, we do. We have a very important uh, truck from New York City Fire Department and it's called Rescue 4. It serviced the area of Queens, New York. And uh, after 9-11, um, when it was uh, uh, damaged, it was uh, brought here. Um, and uh, unfortunately the crew from that truck perished. Well, we also have a, uh, an incredible um, uh, piece that's uh, on display in Gallery 4 from uh, the Granite Mountain Hot Shots. And as we, in Arizona, we all know that those uh, 19 firefighters perished up in Yarnell and uh, we're forever in debt to them and we uh, honor their memories here. Yeah, and again, uh, it's a great place to come in, learn that history, um, but also, a kid can be a kid here who wants to climb on those fire trucks and want to be in them because you offer that for them to do. Yes, we do. We have a, a beautiful truck right behind me. It's uh, the Miami piece from Miami, Arizona, and it's an American LaFrance, and we let them climb aboard, and we, they let them put on the jackets of firefighters, even in their size, and helmets, and get great, great selfies. All right, I'm going to go learn about a few trucks here, so I'm going to go find Mark. Okay, thanks for coming. All right. Mark, Chuck was telling about the oldest truck that's here, which you love. I what do. Is this right, right here. I right? love all the ones up here, but I do especially love this one. This is the oldest large piece we have here at the Hall of Flame. It's from 1725 from the north of England. I always say this truck was built about seven years before George Washington was born. Wow. That with the kids, that always kind of helps place <laughs> it. But the way this worked, this one is so old, Brad, yeah. that they didn't even really have very good fire hose yet. Okay. Okay. So what they did was they still used the bucket brigade. But the last guy in line, instead of feebly trying to throw his bucket of water on the fire, he would pour it in here into this hopper uh -huh. and that this tub held about 80 gallons of water okay and then you'd have a crew of guys on either side pumping these handles up and down like this you might have a few guys doing a little stairmaster action up here on the <laughs> on the brake pedals and as that pumped up and down there's a twin cylinder pump in here on a chain yeah. it goes up and down and out of this metal spout psh, so what it basically what? is, you get about 60 gallons of water a minute out of this, which is much better than the Bucket Brigade. Yeah. It's basically a big squirt gun. This is beautiful. Yeah. What's this one right here? This is probably my favorite rig in the whole museum. Uh, this is American. It's from 1844. It was built in Philadelphia for the Pawtucket Veterans, which was a volunteer brigade in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. And the way it worked was, you see these V-shaped wooden things. These are the pump handles. You'd fold them down into here and they'd lay out horizontally and you would fold down these platforms. You got a crew of 12 guys up here, they're working this set of handles, 13 guys on the ground, they're working that set of handles and it goes up and down like this. I mean, you have to imagine the handles folded down, but that's how it goes up and down. 
On the other side, you got a draft hose that goes to a wooden hydrant. Out here, you got your play hose that you point at the fire. But I love it because in addition to that, it's a work of art. It's covered with these beautiful murals. In those days, they didn't want to just get to the fire fast. They wanted to look good getting there. <laughs> Wow, Chuck, this place is amazing. You're it's, driving. You're know, driving I'm the driving truck. I'm a fire truck, too. I'm like a little kid. This is so cool. So it's fun. Uh, this museum, again, open to the public. You want to get people coming in here, right? Absolutely. We're open seven days a week, Brad. Every single day from 9 to 5, except Sundays, noon to 4. So, and I'll tell you, you got to get over here. I know you're looking at school programs, all kinds of stuff. But again, if you got that kid at home, bring them over here. Absolutely. And you know what's most important about this place? It gives kids a full STEM education. So we are science, technology, engineering, and math all in one place. I like it. Or STEAM. STEAM, <laughs> I get yes. it, because some of the trucks are STEAM. STEAM, yes, yeah, yes. Thank you. All right. <laughs> well, thank you. So, can I come back? Please, so, absolutely. I want so much to do here. <laughs>